How's it going? Alex Terry here. Uh, I'm working with an Alzheimer's patient, so I'm just kind of going over how I structure his exercises and where we've progressed from when we started. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the list that I made to chart how he does everything. So we have the date right in there. Uh, we started off with a sentence of the day, which we moved into a song of the day, which I let him pick. The song usually stays, he retains that better. Uh, the second one that we'll do is we'll uh, pick a couple objects, which today we have a cardinal and an elephant that we put in the same place every day. The third one will be an action of the day, which is kind of moved to one side of the room and it'll be for him to check that microwave door where the cardinal and the elephant are. Now he's progressed where we're actually doing two sets. So he's a, a second set, which we're not doing another song, but we're doing another object, which would be a golf ball that's in a box in an area that he's familiar with. It's always the same. We put it on top of a radio on the other side of the room. And then we have his actions of the day, which would be to check the basement door. So I'll take you, I'll show you around what we have and where we've placed it. But here's how I gauge his long-term, mid-term, and short-term memory. So we always start off with these warm-ups, which are always the same, so that would constitute his long-term memory. I give him a point out of one based off of how well he's did. I usually take a 25 cent off, uh, uh, 0.25 deduction, percent deduction off of if he messes up, if it takes too long, if I have to give him any hints, or if he's initially wrong on that. Uh, I recently added this, if there's a speech issue, if he uh, has a uh, problem pronouncing the exercise itself or speech within the time frame of the exercise, I'll give him a check mark for that. If he's confused with what we're doing with that exercise, I'll use this box to give him a mark for that. If he blurts out the answer quickly, I'll also give him a point for that. So we have a couple negative aspects and a positive aspect that can help with the overall grade at the end of it. So as we said, this here is all long-term memory. This will be the midterm memory and it's the song, object, and action as it relates to up over here. So he'll get a point out of one again and we'll make deductions based off of how he does. Once again, we have our speech, our confused, and our quick boxes to check. So this is gonna be our midterm. Now what we have here is we have the rep recall. So based off of all these exercises, I'll write in the number of reps he's supposed to do and he'll get a one or a zero point off of that. This is the quick term memory because this will be within uh, usually 15 seconds to a minute for him to recall that. So let's take a quick look around and see uh, where we've placed our objects. Here you can see we have the cardinal, we have the elephant, his, those are the objects. His action of the day will be to check inside this microwave. So, you know, it might be checking the fridge, checking a drawer, turning on a light switch or whatever. I change it up. Um, if they're just getting started, they might not be ready to do that. Or depending on what stage they're in, you might just keep the same thing there all the time. Uh, for over here today, he's familiar with this as being the golf ball. This is the radio where I always put everything at. Uh, and then his action today is to check in the basement door over there. Uh, and we're doing, a, we're doing a very simple exercise today. We're not using any special equipment, all, just all body weight exercises. So let's go ahead and get started. Andy, come on over. Where am I going? All right, we're gonna start you right over here. All right, quick recap before we get going. Our song for the day is Green Acres. Okay, give me a line or two, your best note. Green Acres is the towels for me. Perfect. All right, our two objects, what's on top of the microwave? A cardinal and a little uh, window, a uh, little other tiny animal. That is an elephant. Elephant, All that's right. what threw me off. Face it forward for you. Your action today is to look Open inside the, door. the microwave. Okay. Uh, over here, <clears throat> and we have the what is that? Um, that is a, uh, a ball for, uh, I don't know. It's a, golf, it's a golf ball. Golf ball, okay. So that would be a mark as confused. We're still in the intro as we're going around there. He knows what the golf ball is. All right, the action then is to check in. Check and see if everybody is in. And see if it's, it's, it's working and closed. See if they're all good. All right, now don't get too camera shy here, Andy. Let's get ready to go, all right? Okay. Uh, did you want? <laughs> uh, usually, it takes a look at the list of the warm ups. So, I'll just take a look real quick here. Military march. Right. Okay, heel walk. Right. On the heels. Torso twist, which is twisting. Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Walk. Elbows up nice and high. The walking lunge around the pool table. Mm -hmm. The jumping, jumping jacks. jacks. 
which will do for the eight right <coughs> there. And then we'll have the yeah, angle we'll circles, circle. which is the last one, which is over there. Okay. And we're just moving that on there. Oh, that's the stuff that we reviewed already. Okay. okay. So let's get it going here. All right. So first, let's start off. What is warm up number one? Uh, the uh, chow. Uh, the uh, and so show me it first if you know what you're talking about. Give me the give me the movement first. What's the movement for this? Oh, it'd be like this. Okay. Now you can tell me the name. So he knows it. So he'll get the whole point on the recall. But now we're gonna figure out if the speech is an issue because he usually comes up with a way to say it instead of what it actually is. So go ahead. What's uh what's this one called? Uh, what is it? Yep. Uh, you got me. I'm a bad. I'm sorry. I'm wrong with it. I don't know the name. So the motion's good. Uh, he, he had the motion good. He, he knew what he was doing quickly, but now we'll give him the mark on the speech for that one. Okay, that's good on that. What is the song of the day? Something, no. Give me the, give me the melody, hum it out. Okay, so once again, we got it quick. He knows what he's talking about, but now we got to see if the speech can come out on that. Anytime you know the name, go ahead and let, let me know. Oh, me? Yep. Oh. Um, see, something... I cannot remember the, the uh, stuff out of the floor. Oh. Uh, I give up. All right, Green Acres is the place for me. Okay. So you'll have time to make that up again. It's only about uh, 40 years old from when I was uh, first heard it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's hard to bring that all back sometimes. Okay, let's get into warm up number two. What's the second thing you do after the military march? Uh, military march is, uh, is number one. So number two would be. Go ahead and do it as soon as you know. You don't have to give me the name, but you can. No, that's three, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's number three. <clears throat> All right. Um. All right, so he's not on the quick point. Now we'll have to see if we can get him past the confused part. So here will come his first hint. All right, warm up number two, you're going to stand right over here. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, oh, that, um, it's going around, uh, right? Yeah, let's see what you're going to do. Like this. That's it. I can't have a, I can, I cannot raise my left toe. Yes, he has a little nerve damage in his back, so he has dropped foot, which is why this is one of our warm-ups. So now, do you remember the two things that I put on top of the microwave? Uh, red uh, bird and uh, a tiny, uh, uh, tiny. There we go. There we go. Uh, okay, so he'll get the full point there. I'll give him a point for the quick. Uh, that seemed to come out quick enough, but now we're going to see if we're going to check mark for the speech because we're having a problem uh, naming the animals correctly. All right, you ready for that second one? What's the little blue thing called with the big ears in the trunk? You know what that is? The ones that have of the two. Mm -hmm. the so we have the cardinal and and ele elephant. Elephant, yes. Sorry. Okay. Uh, what is warm up number three? Uh, no, is it straw man? No, that's so number four. That's uh, so you guess this one is number two last time. Mm -hmm. So remember, the first one was the military yeah. march, the second one is the heel walk. Yeah, what is the third one? So I guess this one the second time, third time. Time was the twist. There it is. Good. Which includes the upper and the lower. Perfect. <coughs> All right. 
we give him a whole point on that, I, we could give him uh, a quarter deduction had I given him a hint. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay, but he's got it. Okay, that'll be good for that one. All right, uh, I'll usually run these longer too, so they generally run from 45 seconds to a minute. Uh, for the sake of the video, we're shortening them up. All right, what is the action? What are you supposed to walk over there and do today? Uh, so you, you can go ahead and walk over there. What is it that you're supposed to do? Open uh, close the t this door. Perfect, great. And what's that? What is this called? Uh, it's a black, black box. Black, black box. All right, so we have the speech uh, for not pronouncing the microwave, but he does get a quick point because as he walked over there, he generally knew what he was supposed to do. So he gets the full point, a check on the speech, and a check for the quick. Okay. So once again, we can see how the speech is generally affected over here. He knows this name, but he's come up with another name for it uh, that he has a hard time processing through. What do you do after the torso twist? What's your warm up after the torso twist? Number four. Twist. Mm, you're getting flustered. Let's take a nice big deep breath in. Let's sing Green Acres for a second. <laughs> That's fine. I just want to get your mind <coughs> for a second. All right, so quick recap. Warm-up number one, military march. Warm-up uh -huh. number two, <coughs> heel walk. All right. Warm-up number three, torso twist. Okay. Warm-up number four. What comes after that? Uh, just move your body somewhere. Let's see if we're on it. What does your body want to do? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Just bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's it. Yeah, you always get this. You usually get this one. Um, okay. This one uh, is from The Wizard of Oz. Okay. So there's your hint. Give me some characters from The Wizard of Oz. Which one are we doing? Uh, the, oh, the, the guy that always uh, gets me is, uh, the, um, what's his name, one of the, one of the, uh, creatures was in the hair. The, there you go, there you go. In no. the, uh, fl the, pe pe the yard. Uh, so let's see you do the warm-up and you can tell me the name as it comes to you, but go ahead and start doing the warm-up. Oh, he's this way. That's it, that's it, okay. Up and up and down on <coughs> your hands and around back legs. Good. So it's a Ray Bulger. Ray Bulger, and what character does he play? Scarecrow. That's it. All right. So that's our warm-up right over there. So uh, he's at a point five for that one. We have the delay. We have the hint also on that one. Okay. Good. All right. We, I don't follow. I do three sets of the warm-up, so I do... Uh, one set of those, which would be three, and then I do uh, the song with those, which is another three, and then I go back to the first one, three. So I only do these nine times as time permits. All right, so not after that one. Okay, what's the warm-up you do after the Scarecrow? Uh, 